Hey guys, Tibbs, um, Purple Newbie Juice here. Got something to show you. Now, I, I've, I've done this on other other videos, at least one other video where I talked about acid-free paper, you, what to use behind um, painting pictures. And I'm going to show you over here, which was just in a recent video, how brilliant... No, I had this on the side of my couch and there's all kinds of hair from my doggy. But how beautiful and brilliant the colors are on this um, this print. Uh, 2 of 35, uh, Van White West. Okay, now I'm sure that's been done on acid-free paper. And what we have here on the back is this backing paper. You look in there and there's some kind of board okay that is behind behind the painting it seems like a heavier a heavier material but i'm betting that it's acid free and you don't have to worry about any discoloration in this picture because of that now the reason why i say that is I'm uploading the video now, but I just bought this painting, print, whatever it may be, um, from the ReStore. And it was framed in this frame. I got it at a heck of a deal. It was a uh, $1.99. And basically I got it because I wanted to put something in an 1877 frame that I had. Now, I took the loop to it, and I believe it is a lithograph. There was no dots whatsoever, um, so I'm pretty sure it's a lithograph. But it also could be an actual painting. And the reason why I say that is, a lot of times, and I shouldn't say a lot of times, some artists are known to put a pinpoint on their canvas, or the whatever material they're going to be using to paint on in the center of the focal point of where they want that to be. And I would, because of the grouping of the people here, the attention of this guy dancing with this girl, and there's less figures over on this side of the painting, I'm guessing the focal point would be somewhere in this area. And right here, if you can see that, is a little dot. And if you hang that, that up into the light. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a hole that goes so you can see the light coming through. <clears throat> now, another thing is, I wasn't sure on how old, <clears throat> excuse me, this painting was because of the backing was missing. There was a piece of cardboard behind it. And these nails, which are older nails. Um, so I figured it was um, old. I just didn't know how old. And then over here, I seen this date. It's 4446. Now this, I would imagine, would be typical of, of the colonial period, maybe. Um, so you're talking, if this was painted, I believe it's a painting of... April 4th, 1845 or 46. And the reason why I say that is because, I will get into that, but I want to flip something for a second here. Now this color being a lithograph, if it is, isn't as brilliant as you would think it should be. And this is the bad news. Now this is definitely artist paper, but look at that on the back. That is the culprit right there. The Weaver Picture Frame Shop. And it says uh, Pittsburgh and Hickory something, Scottsdale something. Um, there's the name of the artist right there, and I believe the name of the painting. I haven't really been able to make it out. But do you, you see the discoloration of that? Now, I thought, wow, maybe that's some kind of a, uh, 
the, the paper that it was actually painted on. It was a name brand, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not the case at all. So what I did was I looked at... Now, this is what, the, this is what was holding that painting in place. And when you flip it over... You get the Jersey Corn Flake, or the Jersey Cereal Company, Pennsylvania. Now, this company started in 1901 or 1903, and they closed its doors in 1937. So, somewhere in between that time frame, this painting was either re framed or somebody had it maybe broke the glass maybe broke the frame and had it reframed but if that's 1937 at the um uh how am i going to say this the oldest the, the newest the most recent that could be 1937 but if you look at this date which is 4 4 45 and that's 37, you would have to guess that that is the date of 4-4, in other words, April 4th, 1845, which really makes me believe that this is a real lithograph, I mean a real painting, because of this focal point pin mark, but I'm not sure, I'm going to have it checked out. Regardless of the situation, the acid-free cardboard or whatever you're going to use as backing for a painting if you're going to have something framed if you're going to take it somewhere even if it's a reputable business try to stress that you do not use cardboard please use something acid-free on the back of the painting you'll never notice it in your lifetime um depending on you know where you hang it you don't want to hang it on outer walls usually because um, of the temperature changes or in sunlight, but the cardboard is obviously going to really affect your artwork. All right, so anyways, I hope you uh, took something out of that. I know I did. It's something I've learned. Dr. Laurie on um, YouTube has a channel. She's uh, very knowledgeable. Um, she has kind of a comedian act that goes along with it. And you can learn a lot from her, whether it's ceramics, whether it's uh, antiques, vintage. Uh, she gives her knowledge of being um, um, a professional on all matters. And she has these short videos that are really informative. So anyways, thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.